Here is 2.4. 2.4 using postulates and diagrams. And you find 2.4 on the back of your 2.2 notes. And it's about a quarter of the way down from your 2.2 notes. Our essential question is how do I use postulates involving points, lines, and planes? Postulates. Now it's been a while since we uh, defined postulates. Uh, remember postulates are uh, rules that are accepted without proof. And axiom is a synonym of postulate. Postulate and axiom mean the same thing. And uh, they are rules that are accepted without proof. Whereas rules that have to be proved those are called theorems. Those are called theorems. Okay, so in fact, let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and write, write um, uh, postulate in key vocabulary. Postulate equals uh, axiom. Okay, and then theorem um, must be proved. Okay. Okay, so what are some uh, postulates or axioms that we want to look at here? Uh, first one, a line is a line perpendicular to a plane if and only if the line intersects the plane in a point and is perpendicular to every line in the plane that intersects it at that point. So, let's see if we can figure this out. If, uh, if you have this line here, and it is intersecting the uh, plane, let's call this a plane Q here, and, and let's say, it's kind of hard to see this, uh, um, let's say the angle to the right here, uh, kind of we're looking straight on it, but that right, uh, this angle, let's call it over here, this angle here is a, a right angle. Okay, so the angle, let me say it this way, the angle between those two planes is a right angle. Okay, that's nice. And yes, this line does go through that plane, or is in this plane P, uh, but uh, this line is not perpendicular. Uh, this line in is not perpendicular to plane Q. All right, because if you were to swing the thing around, you would see that it's actually at a slant. So there is one aspect where it is perpendicular to the plane, but the rest of the aspects, uh, it is not perpendicular. I'll try to show that more clearly in the class. Postulate number five, through any two points, there exists exactly one line. Another way of saying it is that uh, all that you need is two points in order to define a line. And another obvious statement is that a line contains at least two points. And of course, it, it contains an infinite number of points because a line continues an infinite distance in both directions. And if two lines intersect, if two lines intersect, then their intersection is exactly uh, one point. Good, that's obvious. That's an axiom. That's a uh, postulate. And then postulate number eight, uh, through any three non-collinear points. So, for example, let's look down here. Uh, these three, let's do here. These three points, A, B, and C, these three points are non-collinear. You cannot draw a line through these three points. Uh, there exists exactly one plane. And that, in this case, that plane would be plane T here that goes through and is defined by these three points. So how many points do you need to define a line? Two. How many points do you need to define a plane? Three. So maybe underline the two and the three. That's the contrast between a line and a plane. A plane contains at least three non-collinear points. If two points lie on a plane, lie on a plane, then the line containing them lies on the plane. So if we have, here are two points in plane P, 
And of course, a line that goes through those two points is also going to be uh, on that plane. Uh, if two planes intersect, then they intersect at a line. So here are two planes that intersect with each other and the points or the um, place of intersection uh, is a line between those two planes. Okay, also in your book, this would be helpful for you to look at it's on page uh, 89. When you are interpreting a diagram, there are things that you can assume and there are things that you cannot assume. So all points shown are coplanar. If, it's, uh, if all of them are on the plane here, then you can assume that they are coplanar. Now if you had a three-dimensional drawing, then looks to me like this line here, in, line N, is on plane P. So this point B is not on uh, plane Q, it is on plane P. Okay, you can assume, you can assume that. Angle AHB and angle BHD are a linear pair. AHB, okay. So if it looks like there's a straight line going through and then you have a ray coming off of that straight line, then you can assume that these two angles are a linear pair. In other words, they are also there. Well, they, uh, the sum of those two angles, or let me say this way, a linear pair meaning that they create a line and the sum of those two angles is 180 degrees and therefore these two angles will be supplementary. So we can assume all of that just by looking at, yeah, looks like it's a straight line and it is. And then uh, if, two, if it appears that two lines are intersecting each other, then we can assume that the two angles across from each other are vertical angles and therefore are congruent with each other. And we can assume that A, H, J, and D, these points here, are collinear. Looks like this is a straight line. We can also assume that uh, uh, line AD and line BF intersect at point H. Okay, so that's kind of obvious. You cannot assume, though, that G, F, and E. Hey, looks to me as if these three line up, and I can even put my paper on here, and it hey, looks like they line up. Nope. I mean, they. I agree. It looks like they line up, but I cannot assume that they line up unless I have a line. They give me a line that is drawn through it. I can't just draw my own line through it. I cannot assume that angle or that uh, line BF and line CE intersect, and nor can I assume that they don't intersect. Hey, if they are on the same plane and they don't intersect what would those two lines be? Those two lines would be parallel. But uh, And I agree, it looks like they're parallel. But can I assume that? No way, Jose. You cannot assume that these two lines are parallel unless they tell us that it is parallel. Angle BHA and angle C, where are you at? CJA, okay. so. They, I agree that these two angles look as if they are congruent, but we cannot assume that they are congruent. And also, I cannot assume that uh, AD is perpendicular to BF. Tell the truth, I don't think they look like they are perpendicular, but I cannot assume that, and nor can I assume that this angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so even when it looks like it, do not, do not trust your eyes. Remember, we are looking at reasoning. You need to prove, prove that thing to me, man. Just don't tell me your conjecture and especially not your opinion. So here in your notes, which of the following statements cannot be assumed from the diagram? So are angles A, B, not angles, points, points uh, A, B, and F, are they collinear? collinear? A, B, and F. So give me a yes or no uh, there and so forth. And then down here, can you assume that plane S, here's plane S, this horizontal looking one, intersects plane T, this kind of vertical looking one, this is plane T, can you assume that they intersect at line BC? So give me a yes or no on that one. And then 
let's have a little more challenging questions. Name a pair of supplementary, supplementary angles on the diagram and explain why you can assume this. So give me two angles, write them out, and uh, which ones do you think are supplementary? And now explain. Make sure you explain, man. Explain why you can, you can assume that those two angles are supplementary. And then also explain how you, you know that line AB is perpendicular. Prove it to me, man. Okay, look forward to seeing you in class.